Okay, any pains or injuries before we start? Good, All right. <clears throat> All right, good morning, everyone. This is Stephen Chang coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through yubindi.com, and if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video, as well as my website, simhayoga.com. Today's class is open flow. It is a level one, level two. If you're working with any kind of special conditions or limitations, make sure that you do modify or skip poses altogether, making good decisions about your movement practice so that you don't create any injuries or perpetuate any injuries. Now, if your hips or your lower back are tight, please elevate, sitting up on some blocks or some blankets. All right? Find a comfortable cross-legged position. Palms face up. Fingers come together, mudra, thumb and index fingers touching. And as you ground evenly through your seat, elongating through your spine, let your shoulders broaden. And as you start to connect to your seat and to your breath, through the inhale, let the crown of the head reach upwards toward the sky as you lengthen through your spine. With the exhale, grounding firmly and evenly through your seat, Inhaling again, expansion of your lungs in all directions. And then with the exhale, empty it all out. Continue to take the next few breaths at your own pace. And whenever you're ready, ujjayi breath, oceans breathing. So with the lips touching and a slight restriction to the back of the throat, create the ha sound as you inhale and exhale. Three ohms together, inhale. Um. 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 Keeping the eyes closed, hands together in prayer on front of the heart, pressing the thumbs into your heart, heart back into the thumbs, lifting the heart up toward the sky, setting your intention for yoga practice, devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself, your supreme self that lives within your heart, chanting the mantra for purification, purifying the space in which you practice yoga, call and response. Om Mapavitraha, Om Mapavitraha, Pavitrawa, Pavitrawa, Sarwa Vushtan, Sarwa Vushtan, Gatopiwa, Gatopiwa, Yaha Smarit, Yaha Smarit, Pundrikaksham, Pundrikaksham, Sapahya, Sapahya, Bihyandraha, Bihyandraha, Suchihi, Suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes, palms face up, fingers come back to Gyanamudra. Mudra. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Elongate through the left side of the neck. Chin toward the right shoulder. Continue to pull gently to the back of the head. Release, back to center, drop the right hand. Left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. And chin toward the left shoulder. Release, back to center, drop left hand. Chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head in one direction, ear to one side. Roll it back, opposite side, roll the center. A few more rounds at your own pace. And chin back toward the chest and pause. And then taking the opposite direction.
And chin back toward the chest again, lifting the chin parallel to the floor and reach your spine. Extend the legs forward, separating your feet. Hands are supporting to either side of you, sitting up tall and turning your toes toward each other. And then roll out. Draw in, roll out, draw in. Outer rotation, circling. Take it back to center, switch them around, inner rotations. And back to center again. Cross your shins, but take the opposite, crossing up the legs, so the other shin on top. Raise the arms up high and extend. Twist to the right, right hand behind you, left hand to the right knee. Inhale, back to center, arms up. Exhale, twist to your left. Back to center again. Side bends, right hand down, left arm overhead. Take it back up, other side. Center again, legs forward and forward fold, grabbing your feet, ankles or your shins. Take it back up. Swing the legs back behind you, hands and knees. All right, pet cows. Inhale, draw the navel down. Raise your tail, raise the back of the head. Exhale, round the spine three times. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Come back to neutral spine. Inhale, reach your right heel back. Exhale, draw the right knee in toward the nose. Inhale, kick back three times. Right knee in toward the nose. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, right knee in this time. Inhale, open up the knee to the right side, pendulating back to center. Open to the right, back to center. Open right. Back to center, kick the right heel back, extend the left arm forward and hold it here to balance. If you can bind, left hand to grab the right foot and kick back, tiger. Start to release, left hand back, right knee back down. Three cat cows again, inhale, draw the navel down, raise the tail, raise the back of the head. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. This time, inhale, kick your left heel back. Exhale, left knee in toward the nose. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, left knee in. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, left knee in. This time, open up the knee to the left side. Pendulate back to center. To the left. Back to center. To the left. Back to center. Kick your left heel back. Right arm forward and balance here. Or bend your left knee. Reach back to grab the foot. Tiger pose. Release. Hands and knees. Tucking your toes under. Lift the knees. Down dog and pedal it out. Come back to stillness. Walk your feet out about mat's width distance. Walk your left hand to the center line and then a little bit closer in. And then with your right hand, thread through to grab the left, knee, left ankle and then gently pulling toward the left leg. Release, take it back to center, switch hands. Right hand to replace your left and then left hand to grab the right ankle, pulling toward the right leg. Release, walk it back to the distance of your down dog and reconnect to your regular down dog. Three tuck toe up dogs. Inhale, come forward into your plank. Allow the hips to gently descend as you lift your chest into a back bend. 
Exhale, take it back to down dog. Two more times. Inhale, plank. Let the hips drop, lifting your chest. Exhale, take it back down dog. One more time. Inhale, plank. Exhale, hips start to drop, lifting the chest. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose and round. Inhale, kick up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Re-extend the right leg, step it forward. Warrior one, arms up high and extend. Left hand grabbing the right wrist, extend up and side bending to your left. Inhale back to center, switch hands, extend, side bending to the right. Square back to center, wrap the hands back behind you, into lace. lift upwards, gaze up. Bow forward, devotional warrior. Take it back up, warrior one, open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior, side angle, modifying, arm to top of the right leg or the right hand touching down, left arm up. Take back up, reverse warrior. Lengthen out the right leg, triangle, right hand to top of the shin or to the floor, left arm up. Take it back up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Raise your left leg up, three like a dog. Left knee in toward the nose and round. Kick up, open up the hips and bend the left knee. Re-extend, stepping your left foot forward. Warrior one, back heel comes down, arms up high. Right hand, catching left wrist, extend and side bending to the right. Take it back up, switch hands, extend, side bending left. Back to center, warrior one, wrap the hands back behind you, interlace, opposite thumb on top, gaze upwards. Bow forward, devotional. All the way back up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle, modifying elbow to the knee or the hand to the floor, right arm up. Inhale, take it back up, reverse. Triangle, lengthen out the left leg, hand to top of the shin or to the floor, right arm up. Inhale, take it back up, reverse. Triangle, bend the front knee, hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside of the right arm in touch. Kick it back up. Stepping, your right foot forward. Warrior one. Hands together in prayer, interlace your fingers, press your palms forward. Lengthen your front leg, reach up high. Bend the front knee, press forward and twist right. Square center, length and reach up. Bend, press forward and twist. One more time. Square center, length and reach up. Bend, press forward and twist. Stay twisting. Right hand out uh, to the half bind. Left arm, outer right knee and twist. Inhale, all the way back up. And around reverse, warrior. Uh, extended side angle, left palm face down or reach forward. Half bind, left arm up and behind you. Keep the half bind, inhale, come up, reverse warrior. 
Lengthen out the right leg. Half bound triangle, right hand to top of the shin or to the floor. Keep your left hand behind you for the half bind. Extended triangle, raise your left arm up and forward. Inhale all the way back up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale one breath, exhale chaturanga. Inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Left heel up, left knee in towards the nose. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee outside of the left arm in touch. Kick back up, stepping your left foot forward, warrior one. Hands together in prayer, interlace with the other thumb on top and press your palms forward. Lengthen the front leg, reach up high. Bend the front knee, press forward and twist left. Square center, lengthen, reach up. Bend, press forward and twist. Square center, lengthen, reach up. Bend, press forward, twist, stay twisting. Left hand behind you, half bind. Right arm, outer left knee for your twist. Inhale, come all the way up and around, reverse warrior. Extend it, side angle. Again, modify elbow to the knee or the hand to the floor. And the right palm face down and reach forward to the front of the room, extend it, side angle. Half bind, right arm up and behind you, letting your shoulders stack. Keep the half bind, inhale, come up, reverse warrior. Lengthen out the left leg, half bound triangle, hand to top of the shin or to the floor, right hand stays behind you as you stack. Extended triangle, raise your right arm up and reach forward, your right palm facing downwards. Inhale all the way back up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up, dog. Exhale, down, dog. Right heel up. Right knee in toward the nose. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside of the right arm in touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist. Touch your left arm. Kick it back up. Stepping your right foot forward. Warrior one. Eagle arms. Wrap the right arm underneath the left. Lift the elbows up. Gaze up. Exhale. Round to draw forward. Up and down three times. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. Draw forward. Inhale. Lift. Exhale, draw forward. Stay forward folding, either hover in space or touch your fingertips down or your hands down if you can. If you have even more range, it's your forearms touching down. Stay in the forward fold, releasing your arms, skandhasana squat. Keeping your hands supporting, bend your left knee, shift back toward the left heel, flexing your right foot. If you're on your toe tips, then keep your hands supporting so that you're nice and stable. If you can draw the left heel all the way down and can free up your hands, hands together in prayer. If you're binding, wrap the left arm around the left shin, right hand back behind you for the bind. All right, start to release your binds. Everyone take the hands back down for support. Shifting back forward into half moon. Right hand forward about a foot, little off to right side. So your hand should be to the corner of the mat, roughly. And then reaching left heel back, left arm up. So you're looking to stack your left side over your right, actively flexing your left foot, reaching back in space, actively reaching your left arm up toward the sky. Then point the left toes, reach back. 
Reach your left arm forward so your left side is roughly parallel to the floor and extending in opposite directions. Continue to stay here, stretching your left side or binding left hand to the left foot for your tapasana. If you have good balance here and want to take both hands to your left foot, the full expression of your tapasana. Begin to break, step it back, reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Left heel up, left knee in toward the nose. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee outside of the left arm in touch. Kick back up. Knee comes into twist, touching your right arm. Kick back up. Step your left foot forward, warrior one. Eagle arms, wrap the left arm underneath your right. Lift the elbows up, gaze up. Exhale, bow forward, up and down three times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow forward. Lift and bow forward. Stay forward folding. Either hover in space with your hands, touch your hands down, or touch your forearms down if you have that range. Stay in that forward fold, releasing your hands. Skandasana squat. With your hand supporting, shift back toward the right heel, flexing your left foot. So again, if you need to use your hands to support because you're on your right tiptoes, then uh, keep your hands supporting. Or of course, if you need the hands as well for the right heel drawing down, take that. If you can free up your hands, hands together in prayer. And if those of you taking the bind, wrap the right arm around the right shin, left hand back behind you. All right, if you have your binds, releasing your binds, everyone taking your hands back to the floor for support. Transition forward, half moon. Stepping your left foot down, left hand forward about a foot from your toes, a little bit off to the left side, so you're on the corner of the mat. Raise your right heel back, raise your right arm up. So you want to flex strongly through your right foot and reach back in space like you're stepping up against the wall. You can always keep the gaze looking to the floor to check your balance. All right, then start to point the right toes, reach back in space, reach your right arm forward and point to the fingertips forward so you're getting lengthy through your right side. And feel free if you want to bind, bend your right knee, right hand to grab outside the right foot, the half variation of your chapasana, if your balance is good here, you can take both hands to your right foot, so you're in a free hand balance in your chapasana. Begin to break, stepping your right foot all the way back, reverse warrior, and then hands to the floor, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Start to walk your feet forward towards your hands. Yogic squat, let the feet turn, um, be wide and the toes turned out. Try to keep the heels down if you can. Uh, one way of accommodating that is to walk your feet wider and keep your toes turning out, and that should be a lot easier for you to keep the heels down to take your yogic squat. Then hands together in prayer. Press your elbows to your inner knees, inner knees back into your elbows, and then pressing in, creating compression there, right? So it's a very active pose. Then let the seat draw toward the floor as you lift the chest and lean back. So there's a lot of push and pull a lot of um, um, pressing toward the midline. Keeping your yogic squat, reach your hands forward and up and extend.
Then take the left arm to the inside of the left leg, uh, fingertips touching down, right arm up and extending. Then taking a half bind, right arm behind you. Keep the front of the right shoulder joint back in space. Now you can stay here in the half bind or take a full bind. Wrap the left arm around the left shin and connect your fingertips. Now if you're not able to connect, keep in the half bind instead. All right, we're going to come into standing position with a half bind or with a full bind. The gaze, so the gaze looking down as you lift the seat up slightly, walk your right foot in towards center and the toes point forward. Then keeping both knees bent, shift to your right foot and maybe pick up your left leg. So this is your full, fully bound um, standing marichyasana, right? If you're not able to keep the full bind, keep your half bind instead, pressing your left arm to the inner left leg. Stay on the right leg, tree pose, sole of the left foot to inner right leg, then releasing hands to reach out and up. You have the option of just staying here in your tree and continue to balance. If you're taking additional options, you can wrap the hands back behind you for the heart opener. You can side bend and challenge your balance. Left arm, left leg, right arm overhead. If you're going further to take your half lotus tiptoe balances, go ahead and start working. So half lotus, top of your left foot to your right hip crease. Forward folding over the right leg. Shift forward, take it to your toe tips. And then maybe balancing here in your tiptoe balance, right? If you're taking an option, start to make your way back up the tree. All right, take the arms up high, step the left foot down chair, exhale, dive forward, stay in the forward fold. All right, so just in the forward fold, allowing your legs to release and rest. All right, so with your hands supporting, heel toe your feet wide again and coming back to yogic squat. Hands together in prayer. Press your elbows to your inner knees, inner knees back into your elbows. With that resistance, let the seat draw toward the floor as you lift the upper back and then lean back in space. And then again, release the arms up. Let's take uh, the arms wide this time. So this is a different sensation for your shoulders. As you continue to take that squat without the support of your hands. All right, then take the right arm to inside the right leg, fingertips to the floor, extend the left arm out. Half bind. Left arm back behind you. Either stay here and just let the front of the left shoulder draw up and back, right? Or taking your full bind, wrap the right arm around the right shin, left hand behind you. So coming into standing position, you can take it with a half bind or a full bind. So gaze to your floor, lift the seat just a little bit. Walk your left foot in towards center and point the toes forward. Then bend both knees and shifting the weight to your left foot, picking up the right and try to stand up tall here. So again, you have your half variation with your right arm extended or the full variation with the bind behind you. All right, then start to release for your tree pose, grabbing the right foot. Take it to the inner left leg and then releasing the arms high. Keep the gaze at a fixed point to the floor or ahead of you. Either continue to balance here in your tree or take your variations again, wrapping hands back behind you for the heart opener. Side bending to the right to, check your uh, to challenge your balance. All right, so again, if you're taking the half lotus, forward fold, tiptoe balance, 
Work on that again. All right, we're taking an option. Start to make your way back up the tree. Then take the arms up high, step the right foot down, chair. Exhale, dive forward, forward, fold. And let's take a few breaths here again, letting the legs recover. With your hands supporting, heel toe your feet about mat width distance again. Right hand to center, creating a tripod. Left arm up to twist. You can take it again, left hand behind you for the half bind. Use that resistance to twist a little bit more. Then take the gaze back down to the floor. Shift to your left foot. Pick up your right, revolve half moon. Right heels reaching back. Uh, left arm is in a half bind. You may stay here or again binding. Left hand to the right foot. Revolve to pasana. Release your bind. Step the right foot back down to about that max width distance. And we're going to come back to neutral. And just sway out your hips side to side. Let the legs release, let the hips release. All right, come back to stillness, come back to center, left hand to center. Shift to your, uh, sorry, left hand to center, raise your right arm up to twist, right hand behind you. Left hand to the floor, right hand behind you, unless you did the other side. So if you did the other side, then yeah, then switch sides. All right, then shift to your right foot. Pick up the left leg, shoot it back behind you, and twist. Oh, you ended up switching legs at some point, Yuan? Because if you didn't switch legs, you may have done the other side. If you did the other side, you need to uh, switch sides. Okay, so you switch in the middle. All right, and if you're going further to bind, right hand to your left foot. All right, release your left foot, take it back down to the floor, about mat swift, support with your hands, and again, sway out your hips side to side. All right, come back to center with both hands supporting. Bend the knees at the seat, drop a little bit. Lift the head, lift the upper back so your spine is neutral but engaged. Shift your weight back toward your heels and through the strength of your quads in a neutral spine, Make your way up to standing. Extend the arms out and up, and then side bending to the right. Inhale back to center, side bending to the left. Back to center again. Step the left foot in towards center. Pick up the right foot. Right hand to right knee, left arm out to the side, or yogic toe lock, extend. And then once you have your balance and you're ready, open up the knee or the heel to the right side. Uddita um, Parangustasana, hand to big toe or hand to knee for the modification. All right, square back. Step the right foot back down chair, and then switching legs. Stepping on the right foot, pick up the left knee. Left hand to left knee, right arm out to counterbalance. If you have better extension for yogic toe lock, take it and extend. 
Once you have your balance and you're ready, open up the knee or the heel to the left side. All right, begin to square back. Step the left of that back down chair. Exhale, dive forward. Crow pose. Hands come forward about a foot and a half. Uh, let the hands go about shoulder swift. Then with palms grounding, draw the arms back, uh, the elbows back. Knees to back of the arms. Gaze slightly forward to the floor, shifting forward to balance. Almost there, Bavia. <laughs> Almost there. Nice and slow. You don't have to tip that fast. There you go. Success. Nice. Walk back, jump back. Chaturanga dog down dog. Raise your right leg up, stepping your right foot forward, left knee comes down, crescent moon, kapyasana. Take extra padding to your left knee if you need to. So one way of doing it is to take your mat, left side folding towards center will double up your mat. Then hands to the top of the thighs and lunge the hips forward. Once you're set, press your hands into your thighs, lean the upper torso back, gently looking up. And once you have your back bend set, arms up, Venus Mudra, arms up and back. And you have a good eight breaths here. You can stay here in Crescent Moon, work in this capacity. You can come back to a modified position. If you want a heart opener, wrap the hands back behind you. Draw the shoulders to open, looking up. You can side bend, right arm, right leg, left arm overhead, or if you can touch down easily, right hand to the floor. Opposite direction, left hand down, right arm up and overhead. You can bind for your mermaids. Left hand, grab outside the left foot, kick back, right arm up and back. Mermaid two, grabbing the inside of the foot. Draw that foot in as you slip the foot across your forearms to your elbow crease, and then reach up and back. Multiple variations, work on whatever feels good to you. Beginning to finish up. Hands to the inside of the right foot. Turn your right toes out at an angle. Right thigh also turns out. Lizard. Walk your hands forward. Either keep your arms fully extended, but just leaning the hips forwards and down, or take your forearms down to the floor. Or if you have blocks, you can use blocks, whatever feels good to you. So you want the hips to be moving forwards and downwards. Three more breaths. All right, start to lift the elbows back up, walk your hands back in. Turn the right toes back forward, frame your right foot with your hands, tuck the left toes under, pyramid. Lengthen over your right leg.
Bend the front knee, ground the back heel, come up for warrior two, straddling forward bend. Lengthen out the right leg, turn the right toes to the left side. So your feet are quite wide, your toes are just a little bit closer than your heels, so you're slightly pigeon-toed. Hands to the hips, lift up for the back bend to prepare. Come back to neutral on the exhale, hinging at the hips, you draw forward, let the hands come down for support. Once your hands are supporting, re-lengthen on the inhale, exhale, bow forward. I'll give you again a good 10 breaths here. If you have an inversion practice and want to take it, go ahead. You have your tripod head stance. Now, if you prefer to work with me for some variations, let's stick some variations together here. Left hand to center, creating a tripod. And again, raise your right arm up to twist. Then right hand behind you for the half bind and twist a little bit deeper. Let's switch sides. Raise your right arm back up, right hand to the floor. Then right hand replacing your left. Raise your left arm up to twist. Half bind, left hand behind you and twist a little bit deeper. Raise your left arm back up, left hand to the floor. Once you're stable, walk your hands slightly further forward. Let's say anywhere between half a foot and one foot. Ground the palms. Keep the tail reaching up and back as you gently press your heart center toward the floor. So there is a slight back bend happening as you draw the chest or your sternum toward the floor. If you have more range, you can walk your hands even further. And then with that, now you're opening up the underside of your arms and your armpits some more. All right. If you have even more in you, maybe you can widen your stance. Walk your hands even further and draw your chest toward the floor. And if you're super, super back bendy, maybe even the sternum touching down to the floor and your chin toward the floor as well. So it depends on how much range you have. Um, by walking your hands further forward and your feet wider, you might get closer and closer toward the floor. All right, let's begin to walk your hands back in. So with your hands supporting on the floor, let's come out of here methodically, right? By bending the knees, let the feet drop a little bit. Lift the head, lift the upper back, so now you're more engaged with your spine and your more neutral position. Shift your weight back toward your heels, lightening the load to the front bodies and through the strength of your quads and the neutral spine. Make your way up, and once you're standing, expand the arms, turn the right toes forward warrior two reverse warrior chaturanga up dog down dog left leg up step the left foot forward right knee comes down crescent moon Extra padding to your right knee if you need to, just like you did on the first side. Hands to the top of the thighs and lunge your hips forward. Get into your quad stretch. Then press your hands into your thighs. Lean the upper torso back and naturally looking up at a slight angle. Once you're set with your back bend, arms up, Venus Mudra. And once again, taking your options of choice, whatever you decide to do, if you're wrapping your hands back behind you, this time take the non-dominant interlacing of your hands so you can work the other uh, thumb on top. If you're taking side bend, left arm to left leg, right arm overhead, and of course, if you can touch down easily, left hand to the floor. You can go the opposite direction, right hand down, left arm up. All right, if you're taking your mermaids, binding, right hand to outside the right foot, Kick back, 
left arm up and back. Mermaid two, grabbing the inside of the foot. As you draw the foot in, slip the foot across your forearms to the elbow crease, and then raise your left arm up and back to bind. All righty, beginning to break. Hand to the inside of the left foot. Turn your left toes out at an angle. Left thigh also turns out at an angle. Walk your hands forward about a foot and then either keep your arms fully extended and just leaning forward with the hips or your forearms come down for your lizard. You can take your forearms to a block. Just keep actively thinking, the hips moving forwards and downwards. Three more deep breaths. All right, begin to lift the elbows back up, walk your hands back in. Turn the left toes forward, frame your left foot with your hands. Tuck the right toes under for pyramid. All right, bend the front knee, ground the back heel, warrior two. Come up for a second straddling forward bend. Lengthen out the left leg, turn your left toes to your right side. Again, check your toes. Slightly closer than your heels, hands to the hips. Lift up for your back bend to prepare. Then come up to vertical, hinge at the hips to draw forward. Let the hands come down to support. Then re-lengthen once your hands are supporting. Exhale, hinge at the hips, draw forward, straddling forward bend. So once again, if you prefer to invert and you have a practice, take it. If you're working with me for variations, this time we'll walk the hands over to the left leg. If you have more range, your left hand is to the outside of the left foot and the right hand grabbing the left ankle. If that is too far for you, right, you can take your left hand to the inside of the left foot and then the right hand can grab the left ankle or the left arm. So your choice, if you have the range, is to take the hand to the outside of the foot and then draw toward the left leg. Start to square back to center, walk over to the other side. So again, if you have more range, right hand to outside the right foot, left hand to grab the right ankle, or the right hand to the inside of the foot will give you better support if you can't reach, and then left hand to grab the right ankle, or the left uh, hand to grab the right arm, and then pull toward the right leg. All right, release, walk it back to center. With your hands supporting, this time we're gonna turn the heels in and the toes out. Bend your knees, uh, coming down maybe about halfway, so kind of like a sumo wrestler. Walk your hands to the top of the thighs and then lift the torso about halfway up. All right, so your, your arms are strongly
pressing against your thighs. So maybe your arms are actually taking a lot of the weight. There's very little activity to your legs. You're going to draw the left shoulder back, right shoulder forward to twist. Take it back to center, switch sides. Right shoulder draws back, left shoulder draws forward to twist. Square back to center. Lift the upper torso as you extend the arms out, lengthen out the legs. Reconnect your warrior two, so left toes point forward. In a reverse warrior. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Left leg up for pigeon. Draw the left knee in towards the nose. Land the shin to the floor. Into right knee further back. Walk your hands in. Elongate through the spine. Check that your left, left thigh angles off to side 30 to 45 degrees so that the thigh is out of the way of the belly. And then as you connect with that lengthy spine going to your back bend to prepare, then you're going to walk your hands forward. Staying on your forearms or making pillows with the hands and resting your forehead. Giving you another 10 breaths or so here. If you prefer to take some variations, feel free to take anything you want. So if you decide to stay in the forward fold and adding a twist, you can go to your left. So with your left hand down, thread the right arm underneath, right shoulder, right cheek comes down, left arm up and behind you for the half spine and twist. You can go the other direction, which means you have to lift your torso up Take the left seat down. Move your left heel further forward so that the shin becomes more parallel to front of the mat and flex your left foot. Lean the torso over to the right and hook the left tricep to sew the left foot and twist. If you're taking your mermaids, lifting your torso up, right hand, right foot, left arm back. Mermaid two if you want that. Uh, Simon, elbows in a little bit more first. It's a little bit wide. Elbows, yes, there you go. So now your shoulders are stacked over your elbows, much better. There you go. Are you able to walk that right foot in even closer? If you walk your foot in closer and you work on this flexibility first, right? That will make it easier for you to tip into the hip stand. Because if you're way back here, right, it's really hard to go to a vertical line. So if you're working on the hip stand from this position, work on walking your feet in. If you have your feet in a lot closer, then it's easier for you to lift there. Okay? So be patient and work on that flexibility first. Okay? Yeah, so ba, uh, Bavia, you can always keep your left hand on the floor for support, right? Once you bind, you can just stay here and work on the flexibility. So don't feel like you have to walk your hands in and lift just yet. You can always keep your hands supported. Now, if the hand to the inside of the leg doesn't support you so well, you can go to outside the leg. It might be easier for you to go slightly behind you than to the inside of you, you see? So maybe hands back behind you to your outer left hip might give you better support to put back. Much better, right? Good. And that's where you can start to build the flexibility, build the balance, and eventually your left arm, if you have the balance, can just lift. All righty, let's start to finish up. Uh, walk your hands back in, tuck the right toes under, and press it back to your down dog. Walk it out side to side.
All right, second side, raise your right leg up. Draw the right knee in, land the shin to the floor. And right knee, right thigh, angles out 30 to 45 degrees. Inch your left knee further back to lower your hips, untuck your toes, walk your hands back, elongate through the spine, make sure you're nice and level. And then once you're set, then coming forward. And then once again, if you're working with variations, if you took a twist, if you're twisting to the right, left arm threads underneath your right, left shoulder, left cheek comes down, right arm up and behind you, to lower back or binding to the right foot. Or going to the other direction, lift the torso, take the right seat down, move the right heel further forward. So you want the shin to be uh, roughly parallel to the front of the mat and you wanna flex your foot. Then lean the torso over to your left and hook the right tricep to solve the foot, hands together in prayer and twist. All right, and then if you're working with mermaids, bend your left knee, grab the outside of the foot, kick back, reach up. Um, you're a little bit closer than your first time because now you're much, you're putting much more effort in walking it in. I would say you still have to go a few inches in before maybe you can start to work on the split and then continue to work on the split. <laughs> All right. So try that again. I'll give you a little bit of um, resistance on your back. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my knees to press against your back. Just keep walking it in. Okay, and then stay there and press. Say again? Well, just by doing this, but also think about um, keeping your spine straight because now you're also leaning too far back, right? So you want to keep the head and the shoulders like this, and keep that position as you walk back. You see? Because if you didn't, if I didn't give you this resistance, right, you just keep, and you end up keep rolling back in space, right? So you were well, kind of like this, right? So if you kept the resistance of this, keep walking your feet in. That's when you're gaining flexibility. But if all you're doing is this, right, you're just moving your entire body back. So you have to think about, Resisting this way as you walk in this way. So There's a lot of like subtleties in terms of like how you shift your body to kind of get into the position that you want, right? <laughs> well, years of practice and <laughs> the, the aim is more specific now, right? Because now I'm giving you the direction that you have to also keep this in as you walk this in. All right. All righty, um, let's start to make your way back. Press it back to down dog.
All right, when you're ready, walk your feet forward towards your hands and gently take the seat down. Then keep your left leg extended, so the right foot in the left leg, Janu Shishasana. Left hand to the floor, right arm is up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach forward to grab the inside of the foot. Once you have the foot, ankles or your shins, they want to lift the upper back to come to a more neutral spine. And then on the exhale, hinge at the hips, maintaining as much as that neutral spine as possible as you make your way forward. Then if you don't need your left hand for support, take the hand to the other side of the foot. All right, starting to release. Inhale, come back up. Keep the legs as they are. Counter twist to the right. Back to center. You're going to take the right leg and draw it back behind you. Try to keep your legs 90 degrees if you can. Less than 90 if your hips are tighter. Or if you need to elevate and sit up on a block, you can do that and that'll make it easier for your hips to take this position. Left hand to the floor, right arm is up, inhale, lengthen, exhale, forward fold. And then for Allison, maybe you can just take your hands to either side for support so you can lengthen through your spine. And with that, lean forward at a diagonal, yeah. yeah. Are you able to take the right hand further behind you, yeah. And then that can give you a better opportunity to sit up taller and then from there. Good. All right, make your way back up. Keep the legs as they are. Twist to the right. And then taking a side bend over your left leg Reach your right arm overhead and extend forward, or if you can bind the right hand to your left foot, go ahead and take the bind. All right, starting to break. Square back to center, carry your right leg forward, center your seat, and then shake out your legs just a little bit. All right, second side, right leg extended, sole the left foot in a right leg. Right hand to your floor, left arm extending up, elongate through the spine. On the exhale, slightly rotate to the right, lining up your torso over your right leg and hinge forward, grabbing your foot. Then re-lengthen your spine, exhale. Draw forward a little bit more and then if you want to take the right hand to outside the right foot. Alrighty, starting to release, make your way back up, keep the legs as they are, twist to your left. Square back, carry your left leg back behind you, and again, 90 degrees if you can, less than 90 if your hips are tighter, or elevate by sitting up on a block. Right hand to the floor, left arm is up, inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge forward, grabbing the foot. 
Then re-lengthen your spine once again and take it deeper. All righty, take it back up. Keep the legs as they are. Twist to your left. Stay twisting left. Lean forward with your torso for the side stretch. Left arm up and reaching to the front of the room. Or if you can manage to bind the hand to the foot, go ahead and take. All righty, starting to release. Make your way back up. Carry your left leg forward. Then again, center your seat and shake out your legs. And then let's butterfly, soles of feet together, knees apart, and just let them rock up and down a few times. All right, extend the legs forward with your hands supporting, lower all the way onto your back. And then windshield wiper, walk your feet in, walk your feet out max width distance, and then let the knees go side to side, windshield wiper. The next time you drop your knees over to the right, let the knees come all the way down. Then take the right ankle on top of the left knee and uh, to outside the left knee and press down. Are you on to the other side? So once you drop your knees, right? You want the bottom ankle to be on top of the uh, top knee. All right, so come back, both of you, come back, step the feet to the floor, max width with the knees up. Drop the knees over to the right side. Then take the right ankle on top of the left knee. There you go. Step the riser back down to the floor, keep your feet wide, and the windshield wiper your knees side to side once again. So you wanna keep your feet wide about mat width distance. That will give you a lot more openness and range for your hips when you go side to side. Then the next time you drop over to your left side, keep your knees down and take the right, uh, left ankle on top of the right knee. Simon, you can stay on the left side. Go ahead, ankle to knee. All right, then go ahead and step the left foot back down. Draw the knees back up and then gently take both knees in toward the chest. And then when you're ready, step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward, Shavasana, find a relaxation. Feet are extended, toes turn out, arms alongside the body, palms face up, eyes are closed.
beginning to draw your breath back in. Moving your fingers and your toes. Reaching the arms overhead, stretching in opposite directions. And then rolling over to the right side and come up to comfortable cross-legged. And let's take a non-dominant shin on top so that you can work your non-dominant side a little bit more to even out. Then reconnecting to an even seat, a lengthy spine, the shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Inhale for all. Um. Hands together in prayer, bowing forward, sealing in the practice. You know, come up. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. And thank you for sharing your practice with me. My name is Stephen Chang, coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through yubindi.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video, as well as my website, simhayoga.com. Thank you again for joining me. See you next time.